today and today we're going to have a game of globule on the commodore amiga and this is a game request by andrew heather on youtube okay so this is a game i've never played before no one owned it back in the day um so this is going to be a first better test run of course to make sure it all works and runs properly right so let's get on with it this is a two disc game only right so we start off at the castle right so now we're loading disc two no need to swap discs over if you got uh, two or more drives it will work which is always a good thing here we go so what you got to do so you see so this is your little globule thing so you jump and you got to collect everything you see on the screen then you can go to the next level Really nice colourful graphics and my first impression is I think it's a very good game. If I had this back in the day I would have played this. I definitely would have played this. Some good music going on. Last one to get. Right, so once you've done it, you see these um, like a little fireworks display. What you do, you hold your fire, no, push down and push fire to get off that level because you completed it. Right, now level two. No, shit, no, I, ah, I know what I've done. That was my stupid mistake. Yeah. Can I push escape? Yes, I can push escape. Right, what well, my mistake is, you've got to move to the next level. So now it's going to get, obviously, slightly more difficult, which you expect. So now, if, or when I go up, I'll show you. So, same rules apply, you've just got to get everything on the screen. Right, I see some spikes now, so now you've got to start timing it. Oh! Not like that, of course. So once you're in the air, you can sort of sort of move about when you're in the air, but not for long. Sort of like you can sort of angle it. Oh! 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 oh bloody, that's close. Watch the spikes. So now we've done that, now we can find our little base. There it is. Right, let's go in there and push, pull down and push fire. And that's level two completed. So it's definitely a game you can get into straight away. Well, I can anyway. Right, now it's gonna get a little bit more trickier. Whoop. So we've got, always got some different music going on, which is a nice thing. So we've got some different 
shades of green going on here. What have we got here? Oh, I can't jump. Oh, is that it? No, it's not it. So there's some. Ah, oh, up here. Right, is that it now? No! No, I wouldn't think so. Right, what's up here? No, there's nothing up here, but... Right, now we've got a time about this. Right, green. Ah, oh, here we are. Right, it must be up here. This must be the final part then. Oh! Come on, right, is that it? Yes, that's it, that's level three completed. Right, so that's the spikes, now where are we going? Knocking on Blobby's door. <laughs> so I like the, the fact they're all named, all the levels are named. Right, yeah. So we see some fire there, so we... Oh! 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 So I don't know how many hit points you're allowed. Oh! Damn it, I think we've got an energy meter. Oh! Right. Oh, damn it! Oh! I'm quite curious to see what other system. I wonder if there's an 8 bit version of this. I'd be curious to see. I think it's the sort of game that could be. I don't see why not. Then it's a Psychnostics game. I don't know if Psychnosis really did anything on the 8 bit systems. I know Shadow of the Beast did come out on the 8 bit systems. And so did Lemmings actually. But they're more known for their 16 bit games. I can't get through that, so there must be something I've got to do here. I wonder what that is. Ah! Right, that's all. Get the key. Right, we got the key. Ah! Oh, right. So now we got the key. Right, what do we do? Now we got the key. Oh, right. Don't know what I did there, but. Right, is that it? Oh! Yes, that's it. Ah, oh, I've lost a life! Right, the good thing is, you don't have to replay the level again. That's always a bonus thing. If you don't have, if you lose a life, you, well, what's this? Which way first? You know, I always like that in games. If you lose a life, you don't have to replay the level, that's always a bonus. Right. So we're doing very well in this game. Sending this first proper go. Oh! Oh! Careful with the fire! Oh! So I'm down to my last hit point. Yeah, so you can see now it's starting to get a little bit more complicated. Sort of, oh, it looks like you have to have a bit of a key. Yeah, we've got to hunt around for some sort of key. Oh, ah! Looks like we need to go down here, perhaps a key. Oh. 
There it is, is the key. So how do I? Ah, so you've got to be on the on that dot to um, the keyhole. Oh, watch it! Watch it! Damn it! Oh God! Oh, it's some more here. Final whip point. I think you get four lives in this game. Oh my god, what's this? What a chest. Alright, so we've got all those. Alright, now I need to get back. Right, so there's something up there. I need to get up there. Right, so go around. Oh, no! Right, here we go. Ah, damn, so I've lost a life. Oh. So you basically continue with. Oh, no! 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 Oh, my goodness. So you've got to be careful to fight. That's sort of like a death spiral. Oh shit. Oh shit! Ooh. No! Yeah, it's getting tough now. Obviously, you can't go up the chain. Oh, I've lost another life. And that's game over. And you get to type in your name. And that's always a bonus thing as well. After all that, I've come bottom of the score charts. But then again, that was my first ever go. A proper go. Um, I rather like that game. Um, if you've not played it already, um, you own a Commodore Amiga emulation, give it a go if you like them sort of games. Well worth playing. I think it's brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.